Hey everyone, Fourth and E Matt Switch Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd. And it is time for another edition of It Came From Bandcamp, where we spotlight and talk about releases, some of the oddest that crop up across the Bandcamp platform. And uh, this one is no disappointment when it comes to oddity. It is the new Ponce's Nocturne record, uh, Grand Guignol Orchestra. It is uh, the latest record from this French metal outfit who on past releases have indulged in uh, pretty much straight up and depressive black metal, uh, also avant-garde metal. Uh, they've also been known to work in elements of very, very old school French popular song into their stuff, including elements of accordions and horns and like operatic style vocals. Uh, one of their previous records I also saw had some uh, neoclassical dark wave elements going on it. So, I mean, you know, if, if you're going to embrace elements of uh, theater in your music and, and cabaret and that sort of thing, of course, neoclassical dark wave is uh, uh, going to turn up somewhere at some point, too. However, this new record over here seems to bring a pretty big change of pace as it is uh, quite literally clown metal. Clowns. Circus metal, which I mean, I, I guess this wouldn't be the first time circus music had turned up in metal music, uh, but to see the band uh, pretty much just like turned up in this black metal inspired, but also clown and circus inspired garb at the uh, top of the header here on their Bandcamp page is uh, quite inspiring. Now, uh, this is a somewhat sizable record over here. Uh, we have 10 tracks. Some pretty meaty six-minute cuts on here. Uh, let's give a few of them a try and uh, see exactly uh, where the band is uh, taking this new clown-inspired metal aesthetic and, uh, and go from there. Ba-bam. I'm, I'm going to end this here to say... Um, uh, look, while I'm sure we're all kind of having a bit of a giggle here at like, oh, it's clown metal. Ha, ba, 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 ba. Uh, it's actually not that bad. I mean, it's obviously predicated on this gigantic visual and aesthetic gimmick. Uh, but the transitions from one passage of the song to the next are actually pretty fluid and creative compositionally. Uh, the entire track is pretty solid, even when they do go out on a limb into a sound or a vibe that is totally different, like that whole tango passage of this particular track. And I, I think uh, it's well recorded, it's well performed, and it's not without its obvious um, but very functional influences. I'm reminded of bands like Psy when I listen to this, of bands like Behemoth, uh, of course a little bit of Peston Noir. Um, I'm also reminded a bit of Mr. Bungle, when I listen to this as well, if you've ever enjoyed some of the music from those very well-established artists and bands over the years, uh, I don't see why you couldn't at least appreciate a little bit what this group is doing. I don't think it's it's that far-fetched. Um, sure, I, th I think a few listens through, it might take you uh, some time to get used to the clash of sounds and how winding and unpredictable uh, the songwriting of this record can be, but it's actually got some really cool and... Uh, uh, functional and uh, uh, vibrant and colorful and out there ideas that uh, are, are worth uh, diving into and are, are worth eating up. Um, let me give uh, this uh, this next track, Laufa Mal, uh, a shot and see what else the band is working with. Because we may be in a position where, uh, you know, maybe the group, all they really have is these, uh, you know, honking, blurting, oompa pa horns worked in with uh, metal guitars and some black metal and death metal drumming. Let me give this next track a shot and we'll see what else we're, we're working with here. Oh my god, this is so dramatic. This is so dramatic right now. Like, the, the lead vocals on this track are sung in this very 
faux theatrical crying. Like I'm just imagining a spotlight on this crying clown. <laughs> this, is, this is very over the top. Um, and not necessarily in a bad way. I mean, if you can handle the campiness and you can handle the aggression and you can handle the, the volume of it, I, I think you'll definitely get through uh, parts like these. Uh, I did like the intro of this, of this cut, though. It almost had like an old-timey New Orleans jazz flavor to it. And this is another cut that, oddly enough, in a weird way, reminded me of Behemoth. I feel like I'm almost listening to what you would get if you took the Satanist, but instead... Uh, you you forced Behemoth to tribute uh, not the devil but Bozo the Clown, just literally Bozo the Clown. All that worship and blasphemy and power and uh, and and all of that, but instead of focusing on Satan, you're you're just uh, focusing on this world famous clown. Um, is is essentially what I feel like I'm listening to here, just through a few tracks. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty uh, uh, intrigued by by this this is a, a very weird and unique listen um there are a lot of elements of it that i think are a bit much but uh th this is this is incredibly entertaining this is incredibly entertaining uh so shout out to uh uh Ponce's nocturne on uh, on this one this is a uh, pretty pretty fantastic we're going to uh link it down there in the description box you guys can check it out for yourselves Clown metal, 2019. Uh, we literally have clown metal, and and thank thank God. That's all I have to say. Over here next to my head is another Bandcamp episode that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, uh, Grand Guignol Orchestra, uh, forever.